When will we see Sue Young make her return to Impact Wrestling? I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it, but the trolls are right. Nobody knows Impact Wrestling. When will we see Sue Young make her return to Impact Wrestling? I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it, but the trolls are right. Nobody knows Impact Wrestling exists anymore, and I'll explain. And a really dumb, dumb article. Just wait for this one, folks. This one's a doozy. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Just a real quick note. I mentioned I went in for a COVID test and uh, it came back negative, so thank goodness for that. I do not have COVID-19. It came back negative, so I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, another thing I want to bring up is I have my own YouTube channel now. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. I interview um, numerous indie stars as well as legends of professional wrestling right now on my channel there's interviews with nikita koloff uh kobe christ uh nick sullivan uh wade allen uh, crystal moon and a lot more interviews are coming so the alliance pro wrestling network please head on over there and hit that subscribe button i'm trying to build up my subscribers the first goal is 100 subscribers i'm about at about 40 right now so please do your old buddy a favor do your old buddy Lewis Carlin a favor. Head around over there, Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, and uh, hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you very much. All right, let's get on to Impact Wrestling. So, Sue Young. We've seen little bits of Sue Young appearing here and there, and I'm thinking, when is Sue Young going to finally make her return to Impact Wrestling? And most people are thinking Bound for Glory, and that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking at Bound for Glory. Now, this podcast might be out. It's probably going to be out after Victory Road, but I'm recording it. It's 2.41 on October 3rd, so Victory Road hasn't happened yet. And as we know, it's uh, Diona Perrazzo. I'm oh, sorry, Diana Perrazzo uh, taking on uh, Susie for the uh, Knockouts title. And um, I'm thinking in that match... In that match, Kyler Ray is going to interfere and somehow cost Susie the match, uh, making Susie um, really snap. And we're really going to see a lot of Sue Young coming out at the end of that match. And at Bound for Glory, Sue Young will interfere and cost Kylie Ray the match, setting up a feud between Sue Young and Kylie Ray. Uh, which will then lead to a uh, Deanna Perrazzo uh, to Neil Dashwood feud. There's, so that's my prediction there. That's my prediction of what's going to happen. So I'm thinking we're going to see a bit of Sue Young, maybe uh, a lot of Sue Young come out at uh, Victory Road, uh, but uh, the whole walking down the aisle, the music, Sue Young will appear, in my opinion, at Bound for Glory. And I'm predicting she's going to interfere in that match and cause Kylie Ray the match with Deanna Perrazzo. So that's, that's my prediction on that. And I think it's gonna. I think we're gonna see Sue Young back for a while. I know a lot of people, social media would would rather you know Sue Young appear here and there, uh, but I, I think we're gonna have Sue Young back um, for a bit. Like I said, I think she's, I think she's going in the feud with with Kyla Ray. That's that's my gut feeling right now is that she's gonna go into a feud with with Kyla Ray, and I think it would be a good feud. It would be a good feud between Kyla Ray and uh, Sue Young, and again that would. That would just leave the door open for a Tenille Dashwood, uh, Deanna Prazo feud, which is what they're, which is where they were headed for anyway. What they were headed for anyway. So, um, so that's my prediction there. So that's I think that's how we're gonna see Su Young return to Impact Wrestling. All right. So I, I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it, but the the internet trolls have been right all along. Nobody, nobody watches Impact Wrestling anymore. Nobody knows that Impact Wrestling exists anymore. I have to admit it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let, let's, um, I, I know, 
<laughs> that's been on social media a lot. So for everyone that's been saying that that uh, Impact Wrestling, nobody knows it exists anymore, and uh, nobody uh, nobody watches Impact Wrestling anymore. All I gotta say is they just signed they just signed huge broadcast deals with um, a new deal with the UK, a new new broadcast deal with with the UK channel. I'm uh, looking for the article here. And on top of that, on top of that, they have also signed a uh, a deal to bring Impact Wrestling to Russia. So Russia will be now have access to Impact Wrestling. So for so for a company that nobody knows that they exist anymore, that nobody nobody watches anymore, it, it seems to me that that a lot of uh, people know that this company exists. Uh, it's going to be in Russia now. The, over 10 million people in Russia are going to have access to it. Uh, the new UK deal, which I'm looking for, the article here. Oh, here it is. So they have a new TV deal in the UK and Ireland. Uh, they're going to be on uh, Premier Sports. Premier Sports, it starts October 6th with Victory Road. And uh, how many people, does it say how many people in this article? It doesn't say how many people, but still, all across... All across the UK and all across Ireland will have access to Impact Wrestling. So yeah, so plenty of people know that that uh, Impact Wrestling exists. So uh, it's a great, great deal there. Great, um, great deals there for, to to get Impact Wrestling out into more countries and in front of more eyes. Uh, it's been it's in front of uh, 120 countries right now. Right now, Impact is available in 120 countries right now. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. It just, it just, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, as I said, plenty of people know that Impact Wrestling does, in fact, exist. And I promise I will give a shout out here. Um, so I'm going to give a shout out to Aaron and Davenport. So Aaron and Davenport, I promise I will give you a shout out. Uh, so there you go, Aaron and Davenport, giving you guys a little shout out there on the show. And uh, let's get on to the uh, to the dumb article, to the dumb article I came across. Uh, so I'm going to read the, uh, this was released on uh, October 3rd, 2020. That's, that's the date on, on the, uh, that's the date on the article. So the article reads, and it's written, it's, it's on theovertimer.com, and it's written by Jordan uh, Huey. I may have pronounced that name wrong, but okay. So the title of the article is A Plea to Impact Wrestling Drop Pursuit ASAP Yeah, I'm going to read it again. An impact a plea to Impact Wrestling Drop Pursuit ASAP and it's an open letter to a once mighty promotion. Now, this this gentleman Jordan is uh is asking Impact Wrestling to drop the Pursuit channel. ASAP. It's the Pursuit Channel. They haven't been on the Pursuit Channel since 2019. Yeah, uh, and uh, this article was released on October 3rd, 2020. Uh, now, two things here. Two things here. One, it could be Jordan has no idea about anything that's going on with Impact Wrestling right now. Uh, he was just asked to write an article. He was asked to write a negative article about Impact Wrestling. And he did a little research and he thinks for some reason they're still on Pursuit, the Pursuit Channel. That's the first thing. The second is that this was written when they were still on Pursuit. And for some strange reason, the Overtimer.com felt it was a good idea to re-release this article October 3rd, 2020. So that's th those are the two things there. Two, two. Th th those are the two um, things there that that might have happened. That might have happened. But either way, either way, it's it's just dumb to release this article on October third, twenty twenty, asking him to leave pursuit. It's 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 stupid. And you know, this guy is like poor, poor impact wrestling. They just can't catch a break. You know, they've been plagued with issues. And now there, it says their deal on the Pursuit Channel has seemed ill-fated from the beginning. Uh, blah 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 blah. Just they. This is what frustrates me, man. This is what frustrates me, man. You know, and I, I don't want to come across. I know I come across sometimes as someone who might complain, and maybe I sound like I'm whining, but but I think it's justified here. I think it's warranted here. 
that 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 this article being released asking Impact Wrestling to drop Pursuit. Again, whether it's a re-release or whether it's a new article, it's just stupid. It's dumb. Uh, we all know what channel they're on. We all know where Impact Wrestling is right now. And the overtimer, if they want to be taken seriously, they need to take things seriously on the inside, on their end. <laughs> and they need to do a little better than releasing articles. Um, they, 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 have been, they have been in pursuit for every year. I think they. I think September two thousand nineteen is when they moved to Access TV. So it's been over a year since they've been on pursuit. But but hey, for some reason Overtimer dot com felt they needed to release this article on October third, twenty twenty. I mean, Victory Road is coming up. Couldn't they have released something on Victory Road? They might have. They might have released something on Victory Road. I I haven't. Uh, I haven't researched it. Um, maybe they have, but. But when I when I typed in Impact Wrestling to look for news, this this article popped up, N- not a Victory Road article for Overtimer Overtimer Overtimer.com. This article popped up, so uh, yeah, it just just senseless senseless article released. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that for today, and I'm just gonna say thank you very much for listening today. We're gonna keep it short, short but sweet. Uh, Thank you very much for listening today. I'm Lewis Carlin, and until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.